everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am up with my, oh, it's a two-pronged video. It's a February, I had to think of the month then, February killer kit and layout share for how to kill a kit with style. And it is also a quick intro to my March kit. And I've combined the two of these. I'd normally do them separately, but my March kit is based on a haul uh, that I only posted like two days ago or something so you've already seen it so I'm just going to give a very quick kind of overview and shout out of what I'm doing um everyone who's playing along this month will be linked in the description box as always but if you remember the start of Feb when I did my kit share also apologies the bump is massive and it will get in the way <laughs> uh, I am currently side side note I'm currently 30 well 33 weeks pregnant but as of tomorrow when I'm filming this, I'll be 34 weeks pregnant. So when this goes up, I'll be 34 weeks. So, you know, I'm feeling like it's any day now. I mean, it, I'm only 34 weeks. I've got a little bit longer to go. But, oh, boy, um, I'm getting there. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Uh, I've got one more week left of work and then I'll be on maternity leave. Uh, here in Australia, we have um, excellent maternity leave. I know that's not the case everywhere. Uh, so I'm taking uh, just around a year off. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, am I ready? Not at all, but that's fine. <laughs> it's fine, honestly. <laughs> um, anyway, so you will remember back in Feb, I decided to give myself a bit of a breather and I picked a kit that basically was more like a page kit than sort of a full kit. And I aimed to do one or two layouts. So this is what I've got left. And in all honesty, I'm not keeping this. I know the scraps are large. I could totally chuck them in my scraps box. Um, but I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm done with holding on to things that I know I'm not going to use. I think this is probably a little bit of my like nesting situation happening with the pregnancy and stuff. But I'm kind of like, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to recycle the paper and these few little ephemera bits I have left. I'm letting it go and I'm considering this killed. So I do have a few little scraps and these two obviously slightly larger scraps that I have left. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got of the paper. And then I do have a few um, embellishments. So this one, it's not easy being this cool. This little banner that says wild child, little banner that says snap. This is actually a, an ephemera piece that I cut sort of two parts of it. it was sort of like a long sort of banner um, and then a little love heart so that's all I've got left of the ephemera so that's I started with a basically full pack so I used all of that and I created two layouts now I think both of them went up on my channel <laughs> uh let me show you so these are the two layouts that I created uh, this is the first one that I created. This definitely went up on my channel because it was a layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict. Um, and it is a photo of Lincoln surgery that happened in 2020. So that was that one. I did pull in a few other bits from my stash. So I pulled in a few stickers from the All Boy collection from Echo Park. And these were from... I can't remember the collection. It's a space themed one. I know that. Uh, so I pulled in that as well. And then this was a layout that I made. I definitely filmed it. So if it hasn't gone up yet, I don't know. I'm, I should, I'm filming this video sort of in the last sort of week of Feb. So I might, if this hasn't gone up yet, I'll try to put it up so that it does go up because, um, you know, it's using the Feb How to Kill a Kit with Style. So it would be good if I could share it. Uh, but this was just basically a way for me to document a lot of photos so you can see I've got six photos on this page they're all of Lincoln and Jack um, going down a tunnel slide sort of for the first time well Jack, uh, Lincoln was going down one for the first time a really really long one a big one and Jack was kind enough to take him these top three photos he wasn't sure and then these ones by the end he had a few more goes and he was really loving it so they were cute and I thought I just wanted to document those uh yeah so that's it. I did a lot of shimmers in the background um, and I basically just tried to get every piece of ephemera that I had left from the collection uh, that I was killing. I didn't even tell you what it was. The Boys Rule collection from Photoplay. I just tried to get as many of that onto the page as I could. So they're the two layouts I created. I'm considering it a success 
Feb was a really full on month for me. I just, you know, with wrapping up work and going on, well, I'll be going on maternity leave at the start of March. I just, it's been full on. I've been tired and sore and <laughs> just full on and I have not done much crafting. So that is Feb. Now for the month of March, I am lucky enough to be doing some guest design work. Uh, for Crazy Craft Obsessions. If you haven't heard of them, Crazy Craft Obsessions are an Australian online scrapbooking store. They only ship to Australia and New Zealand. Sorry, international folks. Um, I do have a coupon code, discount code, which is a single use code, but you can use it on anything, even already reduced items. Um, so I will leave that in the description box. Um, but basically I'm doing some guest designing for them. And I hope in the month of March to have well, at least four layouts made with this kit for the guest design work with them. But I'm hoping that maybe I might do my best to get a few more, but we'll just see. Um, so the kit is based on the Doodle Bug uh, Great Outdoors collection. So I've got the 12 by 12 paper pack here and I've done a haul for this. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. So I've got the 12 by 12 paper pack, which also comes with sticky sheets. I have got two ephemera packs and for Doodlebog they call them odds and ends. These ephemera pieces are huge. A, the packs are huge. I think you get two of everything. I could be wrong, but they are huge. Um, no, you might not get two of everything. Regardless, they're massive. <laughs> the pieces are big and then the actual how many you get. I mean, there's 139 pieces in this one and 107 pieces in this one. That's a lot of ephemera to work through. Um, so I'm never going to kill this kit in March. I'm going to do my best. So I've got those two and then I've just got a few um, enamel dots, mini jewels, and then these two um, sprinkles that Doodlebug calls them, but they're like enamel shapes um, these cute little campground critters and these cute little ants and hearts how adorable i also threw in some two crafty chipboard now these are an australian company um, and they're a raw chipboard so my plan is to just do a bit of mixed media on these um, and i just thought these would work for my little man so many toys so little time handsome little man let's explore and it's a boy thing and then i also got some of the Simple Stories Colour Vibe papers in the wood grain. So I've got three different wood grains here. They do have a neutral pattern on the back, but I won't probably reach for that. Definitely reach for this. Now I don't plan on using all of this wood grain this month, uh, but I did get it specifically to go with this kit just to give me a bit more neutral. This colour scheme is not one that I gravitate towards. So I know this is gonna be a challenge for me, but I'm excited. Um, and I thought the new, uh, the wood grain might help to kind of neutralize things a little bit. Also, I got a few distress oxides and some um, embossing uh, stuff as well to play with um, from Crazy Craft Obsession. That's their little logo there. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm super excited. So I watch out for this. This will probably be appearing on my channel a lot this month. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do my best to crack on and get a lot of this, this used up so this will be my march focus um again my aim is four layouts if i do get my four layouts done i'll consider that a win um but i want to try and do my best to see if i can kill this collection that would be amazing um but you know we'll just we'll just use it up as much as we can um so yeah that's it that's the month of march please check the description box for all the other ladies playing along i will also have a link to crazy craft obsession and my discount code uh, for those of you who are in Australia or New Zealand and would like to shop with Crazy Craft Obsession, uh, go and check it out. I think it's a 10% off code, I think, from memory. Uh, and as I said, it's off all even already reduced things, but it's a one, one use only code. So see how you go. I will keep you posted throughout the month on how I'm going. Uh, just a word of warning, I will probably take um, April off uh, because that's when bubs is due and, you know, I don't want to put any pressure on myself. Uh, so you may not see my How to Kill a Kit with Style videos for a month or so just while we adjust to life with a newborn and a toddler. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to keep creating. I just, I may film my Killer Kit videos and then I may not actually film my layouts. I might just create, you know, for funsies, have a little couch scrapping kit and just do some, you know, no pressure creating. 
while Bubs is napping. Uh, Lincoln is staying in childcare a few days a week, so I will have some time um, where it's just Bubs and I. So, you know, we'll just have to adjust and see how see how we go. It's always that unknown, isn't it? When you bring another baby into the family, what it's, uh, you know, how everybody will adjust. So, you know, not putting any pressure on myself. Um, and even for the month of March, I'm just, you know, the priority is the bump. Uh, and, you know, if I'm feeling tired or whatever, whatever, we're just, we're going to take the pressure off. It's going to be a fun month in the lead up to this little one's arrival. Um, so that's it from me, guys. I will check in as much as I can. Obviously, Jess is still around doing all her amazing creative stuff. So there'll still be plenty of content on our channel, just maybe not as much from me as you're used to. Uh, but that's been the case for the last couple of months anyway. So um, we will get there. Uh, but thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.